corner of Jefferson and Divisadero. You can see this building is collapsed. We're getting so many reports of so much damage in every direction. This is a department store called Ford's. It collapsed, trapping several people inside. At least three people are known to have died here on the mall, perhaps 12 to 14 total in Santa Cruz. Authorities do not have a, a final Northridge, California, 1994. This was a bomb. It went up under our complex, picked it up, threw it back down 12 feet, and crushed these first four apartments within four seconds. Loma Prieta, California, 1989. But we lost everything, and all our places in chambers, and our bodies are probably dead, and we lost everything. Anchorage, Alaska, 1964. I hit the ground and grabbed my chair and put it over my head, and it was like riding a roller coaster. In life and property loss, earthquakes rank among the most costly natural disasters. Failure of a building during an earthquake has a far-reaching impact on the economy of an area and on the welfare of its population in terms of injury, death, and economic loss. In other words, when buildings are at risk, so are communities. The responsibility for reducing that risk no longer rests exclusively with the structural engineer. Design and construction of a building is a team effort, and the architect can play a pivotal role. The decisions that you make as part of that team may determine if a building and its occupants survive an earthquake. The purpose of this training program is to help you make well-informed decisions when designing an earthquake-resistant building. Your Buildings at Risk textbook covers fundamental concepts. This videotape illustrates those concepts through examples and case studies and your Buildings at Risk workbook contains exercises that allow you to apply those concepts. To get the full benefit, use these components together. Begin by reading the first chapter in the text and follow up by watching the corresponding module in the videotape. Then pause the tape and complete the appropriate exercises in the workbook. This program will not teach you everything you need to know to engineer and detail an earthquake-resistant building but it will teach you the concepts that are important in seismic design. The nature of ground motion, characteristics of the soil in sight, building configuration, and the reaction of structural and non-structural components. Examples of damaged buildings will illustrate what other architects have learned not to do the hard way. To begin, let's take a look at the causes of seismic activity.